happy. And look at what's behind me. Whoa, a blue and yellow airplane. Yeah. Did you see how I was acting like an airplane? I sure do love airplanes. But hey, today I'm at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, Washington. And today you and I are gonna learn about airplanes. Yeah, let's go. Oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome to Blippi Airlines. Where are you heading today? Wow. That sounds like a great destination. Is it for business or pleasure? <laughs> awesome. All right, uh, let's see. You are all checked in. Do you have a bag? <laughs> okay, perfect. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's put the bag on the scale. All right, looks like you're within the limitation. So let me put this on the conveyor belt. Okay, <laughs> well, have a great flight. But wait a second, that sounds like so much fun. Do you mind if I come? <laughs> Perfect, all right, <laughs> there we go. Now I have a ticket too. Okay, let me come around. <laughs> I am so excited for our trip together. <laughs> hey, we have to go through security, all right? <laughs> oh, did you hear that? Oh, that means I must have something I shouldn't have on me. Oh, I know what it is. It's just my cell phone. <laughs> All right, I'll put that there. <laughs> Come on. All right, here we go. <laughs> Perfect, let's go. Wow, look at the airplane. Whoa, look at the fuselage, the cabin, and look at the tail up there. Whoa, this is gonna be such a fun flight. All right, let me put your bag down right here. There you go, bag. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Yeah, a fuel truck. Whoa, check it out. Fuel. <laughs> All right, let's grab the hose and let's make sure that the airplane has a lot of fuel. Here we go, let's connect it. Oh, perfect, it's full. All right, here we go. Okay, now that the aircraft has a lot of fuel, now we can buckle up. Okay, first let's put on our seatbelt. There we go. Okay, now we'll listen for instructions for the flight. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Blippi Airlines. Please mind the aisles and be sure to find the nearest emergency exit. Buckle your seatbelt and make sure it's nice and tight. And in case you need an air mask, it will come down from above. All right, now that we got the safety briefing and passengers are seated, now I think I should fly the airplane. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Wow, so many cool gauges and instruments. Whoa, all right, here we go. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, check it out. See this airplane? It's so big! Yeah! I am way smaller than this airplane. And do you see what these are? Yeah! These are called wings. Most airplanes have two wings that go from the side, but not all of them. <laughs> Some have more. <laughs> Whoa! And look at this. See the main body of the airplane is called the fuselage. Wow, this airplane is actually used to put people inside and transport them from one location to the other location. Just like, say, a car or a boat or a bicycle, but way quicker. But hey, remember how I said this airplane is so big? Here, come follow me and I have another airplane for you. And it is not very big. Remember how I said that plane is really big? Check this one out. Whoa, yeah, this plane is small. <laughs> well, it's smaller compared to that plane, but I'm sure there's smaller airplanes than that one. But hey, what colors do you see on it? Yeah, red, white, and blue. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! <laughs> oh, and what shape is that? Oh, yeah. 
That looks like a star. Whoa, this plane looks like it goes so fast. Whoa, whoa, check it out. This engine actually goes to an aircraft. Yeah, but there's no outside casing around it. Whoa, it is so big. Look how big it is compared to me. And do you see everything in there? There's so many hoses and tubes and, oh, geez. So the air goes in right here, gets compressed, fire, and then boom! Whoa, these tires are so big. And there's actually two tires right there. Yeah, we're at the front of the aircraft. So let's head to the back of the aircraft and see how many tires are back here. Whoa, do you see them? Look at this! This is a fire department helicopter toy! Ooh, and today we're at the Los Angeles City Fire Department Air Operations! And let me tell you, I have a surprise for you! <laughs> It's a real fire department helicopter! <laughs> I am so excited to learn about fire department helicopters today with you! Are you ready? Let's go! Woo! Okay, now let's check out the inside of the fire department helicopter. Come on! We have to open up the door. Whoa, do you see in here? This, yeah, is the cab of the helicopter. Come in here. Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. First, let me show you the cockpit. Whoa, look up there. There's so many cool instruments, gadgets, radios. Whoa! <sighs> okay, for now, I'll show you the cab. Ooh, there's a lot of seats in here. See? I'm gonna go to this one. Whoa, hey! This seat has a seat belt. I'm gonna put it on. All right, buckle up. Ooh, you see? I'm in this seat, and there's another seat. There's another seat. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, and there's actually another seat in the back. Yeah, five, you're sitting on it. <laughs> That's funny. Whoa, look at this. Look at this giant backpack. There's a bunch of medical supplies in here. Whoa. This is what they take down to the ground to help people. Ooh, look at this light. Ooh, <laughs> it's the color blue and it's shining on my face. So these light, lights are really dim. So then from there you can use your MVGs, your night vision goggles, and see at night so it doesn't blind you. Ooh, whoa, this is a headset. Wow, you put it on your ears and then has a microphone right here, but I have to plug it in first. Check this out. Get ready, listen. Whoa, can you hear me? <laughs> I sound funny. I'm talking through the microphone right now. Whoa, flying in a helicopter. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll show you more of that later. But for now, look at this, this, Whoa, is a med deck. I can pull it out. It's nice and flat. Keeps the spine of the patient nice and flat. Okay, gotta put it back in here. Okay. 
There we go. Wow, it was so cool seeing the inside of the cap of the helicopter. Whoa, so many cool things. Whoa, oh, what's this? Blippi, this is our hook for our rescue hoist. Oh, a hook on the rescue, wait, wait a second. Who are you? I'm Pilot Sharif. <laughs> What do you do? Well, today I'm the hoist operator on our air ambulance at the LAFD Air Operations. Ooh, that's cool. Wait, what's in your hand? This is called a pendant. It's what controls our hook. You can lower or raise it with this controller here. Whoa, this is the controller of the hoist. Wow. Can you show me all of this stuff I in sure, action? I sure can. Would you like to try our, our hot seat? This is how we rescue people who really aren't hurt on the ground. In a hot, a hot seat? I wonder what a hot seat is. Well, our hot seat looks like a jacket. Go ahead and put your helmet on. Okay. And you already have safety glasses on, so yep. that works. <laughs> Look, I'm wearing a white helmet. This okay. works just like a jacket, and okay. it's a simple harness that allows us to bring you up into the helicopter safely Ooh. without falling through. Okay, so this is a harness that if I'm on the ground, you hoist down, or someone hoists down, to come save me, right? That's right, and they help you put this on just like this. Okay. And they'll connect you to the hook once you get down on the ground. Okay. They'll lower the hook down to you, and then we'll connect it. Whoa. And when you're ready, we'll bring you up. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's like I'm flying. We'll bring you all the way up to the helicopter. Okay. We'll bring you in, and then with people will be safe. Oh, cool. Fly away. Well, thank you so much for showing me this. Oh, you're welcome. All right. It's nice to meet you, Blippi. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. <laughs> hey, wait. Hey, wait a second. Come back. I'm stuck. Hey, hello. Hey. Oh, no. you know helicopters are at airports and also airplanes are at airports and if there's ever a problem at an airport they have a big truck called a foam truck oh hey look there's a foam truck right over there do you see it yeah okay so what foam trucks do are they spray foam and water out the front just in case if there's ever anything at the airport like a fire. So what we're gonna do is show you it's spraying water out of the turret. See, there's the first turret. Whoa, that's so powerful. Are you ready for the second turret? All right, here we go. Whoa, you see that? There's one turret and there's two turrets. Whoa, look at all the water! 
helicopter with water. Watch. Like he's ready. Wow! Look at how high they are in the air. Ooh! Where's he going? Whoa! <laughs> Look at him dangling from the helicopter. Wow! Hello! Hey! One of them is wearing the color blue. And the other is wearing the color orange. <laughs> My two favorite colors. Ooh, remember that? That's the hot seat. Okay, here he goes. Whoa! <laughs> that looks fun! Whoa, hello! He just got hoisted all the way up into the sky in the helicopter. Wow. <laughs> Shut the door. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Now it's time to learn the exterior parts of the helicopter. Wow, what a big machine. Oh, hey, up here. This is the cockpit. This is where the pilot and the co-pilot sit. So then they fly the helicopter. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> and back here, this is the cab. Yeah, this is where all the passengers sit. And this helicopter is so big that 14 people can be inside here. 14? That is so many people. Whoa! Oh, look at this! This is a spotlight. Ready? <laughs> yeah, also known as the night sun. This is used to shine so then anyone can, everyone can see everything at night. Whoa, so bright. Ooh, and back here, these, this is a water tank. And you fill it up right here. Grab the hose. <laughs> Bring on the water! Then this fills up with water, and then from there you fly over things. <laughs> and you pour water on things, like fires, so then you can save people. Wow, what a cool machine. Let's see what else there is, come on. Whoa, look down there. Wait a second. What's this doing here? Huh, you know how some helicopters have landing skids? This helicopter has wheels and tires. Wow, that is so interesting. Huh, cool. Ooh. Whoa, wait a second. You've seen this before, right? Yeah, this is a number. Yeah, one, two, three. The number three. Wow. Oh, let's open this up. Whoa. Check it out. That's a cargo compartment. It's pretty dark in there. <laughs> Come on. Oh, hey. Los Angeles Fire Department. Oh, they're pretty cool. <laughs> Ooh, 
Wow, this is a horizontal stabilizer fin. It keeps the helicopter stable. Whoa! <laughs> it's so high up there! And this, it looks pretty big, but in reality, that's the smaller rotor. But this one, the main rotor, come here! It is so big! You see it up there? Whoa! This main rotor has five blades. One, two, three, four, Good job! Whoa, it's so high up there! Oh, anyways, I was just trying to touch it. Whoa, look at this! The exhaust! All the exhaust from the jet engine gets pushed out of there. Wait a second. I just said jet engine. Yeah, look! Whoa! That's the jet engine. There's two of them on this helicopter. One on this side and one on the other. This is where it produces all of its power. And one of the places that it uses its power is the transmission. Whoa! That is so cool looking up there. Oh, hey! Look at this! You see right here? This is where you refuel the helicopter. We won't mess with that. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Ooh, <laughs> check out my sweet dance moves. <laughs> okay, anyways, look at this. This is the hoist. Whoa, it goes down. Yeah, about 300 feet roughly. <laughs> that is so much and then it can save people by going <laughs> Thanks so much for learning about the exterior parts of the helicopter with me. It's time for the firefighting helicopter song. It can fight forest fires from the sky. It can stop those flames from getting too high. It can save the trees. Save your home, it can even save your life. It's a firefighting helicopter, fighting fires from above the ground. A firefighting helicopter, on a mission to put those fires There's out. Lots of water when it flies, lakes and rivers are its water supply. water from the sky. It's a firefighting helicopter, fighting fires from above the ground. A firefighting helicopter, on a mission to put those fires out. Transport machines, red and white, for the firefighting team, flying day and night. It's a transport machine, it's red
so awesome learning about this fire department helicopter with you. Well, sorry to say, but this is the end of this video. So, sure I'll see you around. But hey, if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? All right, ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Flippy. Good job. All right, bye-bye. Whoa, look at this fire truck toy. It has a gigantic ladder. There's a real fire truck behind me. Let's put this fire truck toy away and check out some of the gadgets on the real fire truck. Can you hear me? This is Fireman Blippy. <laughs> hey, we're inside a real fire truck. I got my seatbelt on to keep me safe. I even got my headset so I can communicate with all the other workers. Oh, look over this way. That's where the driver sits and steers the fire truck with the steering wheel. Oh, check the back out with me. Yeah, look at all those seats. That's where the rest of the fire workers sit. And there's anywhere from three to six firemen in the fire truck going to the fire. <laughs> Let's check out some more of the fire truck. the base of the ladder on the fire truck and look way up there. Yeah, there's a real fireman. Let's get him to wave to us. Oh, he's so high up there. He's about 105 feet up in the air. Wow! Now it's about time for me to show you some of the tools and gadgets on a fire truck. Let's go. Whoa, look, this right here, yeah, this is a hydrant wrench. You use this to open up the fire hydrant. And then uh, this is the stores wrench. Whoa, you use the stores wrench on the inlets of the fire truck. So then you can connect the hose to the fire truck and provide the fire truck with water. But in order to do that, you need hoses. Look up here. Whoa. That's a lot of hose. Okay. Now, let me show you some more cool gadgets of the fire truck. Whoa, watch this. Whoa! Okay, we got a pickaxe. We got just a normal pick. And then, yep, you can't forget the snippers. <laughs> Ooh, watch this trick. Whoa! Look at all these cool tools on the fire truck. <laughs> There's tools inside secret compartments that are inside secret compartments. <laughs> Wait, hey, come back here. I forgot to show you something. Look at inside this little compartment. 
Whoa, it's a giant air tank. The firefighters use this to breathe air because you can't breathe in fire and smoke. But in order to use this, you need to wear a harness. Let's go try on a harness now. <laughs> We just got a fire call. Let's go put on our air pack. All right, this is our air pack. This is compressed air in this big bottle. And then this down here, this is my mask. So let me put it on. Tighten that up, and then you just buckle this in, kind of like a seat belt. Okay, and now you gotta turn on the air. Okay, and then let's put on the mask. Okay, now I'm breathing air from the air condenser pack back there. Now it's time to go fight some fires. See ya. <laughs> wow! Oh, you can't forget about the buttons! <laughs> this fire truck toy is so much fun! Thank you for learning about fire trucks with me! Blippi, B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi, good job. Now you know how to say and spell my name. If you want to see more of my fun educational videos, be sure to click this big red button that says subscribe so you can see all of them. Or if you want to see me play with this fire truck toy more, be sure to click that. So then, you can see my brand new channel where I play with toys. <laughs> wow, this is gonna be fun. Parents, if your child loves my videos, be sure to head over to blippy.com because as you know now, they can watch my videos for free on YouTube, but introducing, they can download them on their tablet, phone, or your tablet, or your phone, <laughs> and not use your data or your Wi-Fi, just in case if you're going on a long trip. <laughs> Who knows? All right, well, see you again. Thanks for watching. Bye. Come. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and I was just playing with this dinosaur toy. <laughs> oh, I sure do love dinosaurs. Do you like dinosaurs? Yeah, they are so cool. Yeah, it's so cool how all of them look so different from each other. 
Yeah! Whoa! Yeah, dinosaurs used to roam our planet. You know how we know that? Yeah, because people have found fossils. Yeah, fossils of dinosaurs. Isn't that cool? Yeah! Fossils are remains from plants and, and animals and dinosaurs from such a long time ago. <laughs> well, I love dinosaurs. You and I are gonna learn about dinosaurs and maybe we'll find some fossils in this video. <laughs> Oh, check it out! Yeah, I have a pail full of sand. Yeah, I found all this sand outside. I think we should use some of our tools to see what's inside the sand, and maybe we'll find a fossil. Yeah, okay, the tools that we have here are a magnifying glass. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that'll help us look at things nice and up close. Ooh, nice little pick. Yeah. Yeah, a pick and a miniature shovel. So then we can shovel up some of the sand. Ooh, and then check this out. Whoa, it's a brush. <laughs> yep, so then we can be nice and delicate. We definitely don't want to break up the fossils. All right, let's see, what do we have here? Yeah, a bunch of sand. So I think we should take our shovel, our little pick, and then do some picking, okay? Yeah, we need to break it up. Perfect. Yep, now that we're getting it nice and loose. Oh, yeah, I think I might see something. Oh, do you see that? Oh, yeah, I think we found a fossil. Yeah, it's the color gray. Huh, interesting. Whoa, look, yeah. Archaeologists love to do this. Yeah, they're the ones that uncover a lot of fossils. <laughs> Maybe you'll be an archaeologist someday. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Yeah, we found all these fossils. And then look right here. Yeah, here's one more. Whoa. To brush it off. Whoa. Check it out. Yeah. It looks like some teeth, maybe the lower jaw. Whoa, <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, let me empty this. Have to stay nice and clean and organized. Okay, now let's inspect some of these fossils. Whoa, this one is so cool. This one might even be an insect fossil or something. I don't know. Maybe it's some form of type of dinosaur. Oh, no. <laughs> this could be any part of the dinosaur, but I don't even know. <laughs> but I know what this is. Yeah. Whoa. This for sure is a fossil. That looks like a rib cage. Do you see it? Yeah. That's a rib cage to a really small dinosaur. Yeah. That's the rib cage. Then the whole dinosaur must have only been about this big. Whoa! Hello! Hey! <laughs> okay, what else do we have here? Whoa. Huh, interesting. This one kind of looks like a rock. <laughs> Who knows? Whoa! Look at this. This looks like an underwater type of dinosaur. Yeah. It's so smooth and shiny. Huh, kind of looks like a, a shell of some sort. I don't know. <laughs> wow, this has been so much fun digging for fossils. Yeah. Whoa, maybe next time you go outside and you find some dirt, yeah, and you have the correct tools, maybe you can dig and maybe you'll find a fossil. <laughs> Whoa, pretty cool. I sure do love digging and brushing for fossils. Whoa! Yeah, I love dinosaurs. Do you like dinosaurs? Yeah, they are so cool. Whoa, check out all these dinosaurs. Whoa! Hey, check it out. Do you know what dinosaur this is? 
Yeah, this looks like a T-Rex. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Whoa, what a scary dinosaur. Yeah, this dinosaur eats meat. Yeah, other dinosaurs. Yeah, that is actually called a carnivore. Yeah, if you are a carnivore, you eat meat. Yeah, and a T-Rex is definitely a carnivore because it has really sharp, big teeth. <laughs> Whoa, check this one out. This is a brontosaurus. Whoa, what a cute dinosaur. Whoa, look at its long neck. Whoa, its long neck is really good to reach the top of the tree canopies. Um, um, and eat a lot of leaves. Yeah, the brontosaurus is an herbivore. Yeah, if you're a dinosaur and you only eat plants, then you would be an herbivore. Yeah, like a brontosaurus. T-Rex, carnivore, brontosaurus, herbivore. Whoa! Well, hey, I think we should listen to the dinosaur song. Yeah! A long time ago on this planet Earth, before we ever existed, another kind of creature ruled the land, and this is a song for them. had three horns on their head in case they ever needed to defend. The Brachiosaurus had a really long neck and at the end was a itty bitty head. Pterodactyls would soar through the sky. Their wings were enormous in size. And if they stood up straight on the ground, they would be as tall as a giraffe. song awesome? Yeah! I love dinosaurs and I love dancing! Didn't that song just make you want to dance? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you and I pick a dinosaur and let's dance like it? Woohoo! Okay, what dinosaur? Hmm. Oh, yeah! 
How about a T-Rex? Yeah, okay, I'll teach you how to dance like a T-Rex. First, you have to put your hands out right here, and they don't have very long arms. So, you just act like you have some claws. Woo! <laughs> and then, you give it a big roar. <laughs> okay, hit that music! much fun dancing like a dinosaur with you and learning about dinosaurs with you in this video but this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me b-l-i p-p-i blippi good job <laughs> all right see you again Bye bye Hello! Hey! It's me, Flippy! Yeah, today we're at Boulder Bend Glassworks in Leavenworth, Washington! Whoa! And look at all these! Wow! These are glass sculptures. Whoa, they're very delicate. Wow, so I'm gonna be nice and gentle. Whoa, check that out! Yeah, you can put all sorts of things right here. Whoa, wow, look how brightly colored this is. Whoa, I am so curious how they made this here. Yeah, all of these are handmade here. Yeah, handmade. These aren't made with machines or anything like that. Every single one of these is turned or blown. Yeah, and they're made by two people right here. Okay, here we go, come on. Wow, whoa, look at this. Looks like a blue and white plate. <laughs> I could put tons of food on here and eat it all up. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> or you can use it for decoration. Wow, this is so cool. Wow, look at this. Blue and orange, my two favorite colors. Wow, glass is so cool because look at how hard it is. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> but when you heat it up really hot, yeah, it kind of turns into like a liquid, kind of like honey. <laughs> I love honey. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Wow. There's so many cool machines in here and tools. Hey, come check it out. Whoa, look at all these. <laughs> they kind of look like scissors, <laughs> but they're used for the glass. Yeah, we'll look into these a little bit later. <laughs> but for now, come check this out. Wow, look at all these colors. These are actually big pieces of glass. Wow, what color is this? Yeah, it's bright red. Do you hear them? Listen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got some red, some orange, some yellow, some green, some turquoise right in here, and teal, and we got some blue, Looks like we have some purple. Can't forget about white. <laughs> that is so cool. I am so excited to see what we make with glass today. Wow. Look at all these glass rods. Whoa. So cool. <laughs> they have colors on the inside. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see what they have here. Whoa. Check it out. Yeah. This is a nice bench. This is where you roll a metal rod and the glass is on the end. We have 
nice little, uh, looks like a little metal paddle. <laughs> you can flatten out the glass. Ooh, some big tweezers. <laughs> wow. We have some diamond shears. Each one of these tools has a different use for the glass. Oh, look way down here. A big paddle. Whoa, and it looks like some glass actually made it turn black a little bit burnt over time. That is so cool. Okay, here we go. Hey, and this is a fluffy, yeah, kind of like a torch. Yeah, has some nice flame coming out. Whoa. Oh, hey, look. I kind of like bowls. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> I bet you put the glass in there. Okay, let's go explore. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, this is an oven. This is where you put in the glass and then it heats it up. Yeah, it's really hot in there, so I'm definitely not gonna touch that. Oh, it's nice and warm though. Whoa, look at all these. Little pieces of glass. Wow, they're so colorful. Whoa! Yellow, blue, orange and yellow, purple. Oh, and you can't forget about my two favorite colors, blue and orange. <laughs> that is so cool. Whoa, look at this station. This looks like the safety station. And you know me, I love safety. Check it out. <laughs> look at these big mittens. <laughs> so then you can hold the nice hot glass and then it won't burn you. Whoa. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Whoa. And down here. Whoa. Looks like we have a helmet. <laughs> How do I look? Oh, it looks silly. <laughs> wow, I love protective gear. Yeah, keeps you nice and safe. Oh, another oven. This is where you put the finished glass to cool down nice and slow. Whoa, and another oven. But this oven is really, really hot. This is where all the clear glass is. Yeah, and it is basically like liquid in there. Oh, whoa. Check it out. This is a torch, another hot area that I am definitely not gonna touch. Wow, <laughs> there's so many cool things around here, but you have to be very, very careful. Hey, look, yeah, look at these pipes. Some of the pipes have holes in them. Do you see that? Yeah, that's where the glass blower blows into this pipe. And on the other end, that's where the glass is. And then the air expands it, kind of like when you blow a bubble. With bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, and this is a section of pipes. Check it out. These are used and they are very cold. And that's why I am able to handle these. Yeah, <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, <laughs> so cool. Whoa, what are they doing? Whoa, hey, who are you two? I'm Craig, I'm Dory. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi, what are you doing? We are blowing glass, we're making hearts. We like to make hearts a lot. Whoa, they're blowing glass and making hearts. Do you mind showing us a little bit more? We would love to show you. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? I'm making that beautiful heart shape. 
Oh, those kind of look like tweezers. <laughs> You see what she's making? Yeah, it's a heart. Yeah, a symbol of love. Why are you two putting it in there? We put it in here so that it cools slowly. If it cools too fast, it'll crack. So it stays in here all day long at 920 degrees and that it cools down over a two day period after that. Wow, that's so cool. I'm so excited for it to cool down so we can see this art. <laughs> Did you see that? That was so cool how they made that art. <laughs> now I get to make a heart. But the first thing I need to do is wear my safety glasses. Yeah! Whoa! How do I look? Woo! <laughs> yeah! Now I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Whoa! First I need to roll it. Yeah! Oh, that's really fun. All right. There we go. <laughs> this is so much fun. Whoa. All right, now we're heating it up. I chose blue and orange, my two favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. What are your favorite colors or color? Wow, what a great color. <laughs> Do you see how I'm spinning it? Yeah! It's because gravity pulls the glass down. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! It is very hot! Okay. Now roll it. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Okay. Just keep going. Okay. You can let it cool now. Okay. We have to, it was moving a lot, right? Yeah. You gotta let it cool down so that when you cover it with more hot glass that it doesn't lose control and drip off into the tank of glass. Oh, okay. Now it's cooling down a little bit. Wow. That looks very good. Thank you. Hey. Whoa. This is fun. <laughs> wow. It's so cool how glass is really hard when it's cold, but when you heat it up to really hot temperatures, yeah, it turns into a honey-like consistency. <laughs> I love honey, but I definitely do not want to eat this glass or honey, because that would burn us. Wow. Whoa, do you see what she's doing? She's using that spoon looking device to roll it in and look at how smooth and circular it looks. Wow. <laughs> Little more heat. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay, it's ready. Whoa. Whoa. All right. The first thing we have to do is 
tap it, but I need to keep rolling it. Here we go. Is it ready? All right. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. <laughs> I'll do a little bit more shaping. Can you tell that it's a heart? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little bit more heat. And then we'll do the last bit of shaping. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the last bit of shaping. And then from there, whoa. Okay, how's that? That looks really good. And then let's give this point just a little bit more of a tug. Perfect. And then how about right? There. Wow. Get a little bit more of a crease. I'll try and center it out. <laughs> Not really. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right. How does that look? That looks very good. Okay. Well yep. Great. Whoa. Wow, that was so much fun. Now they're gonna do the finishing touches and then they're gonna pull it off of the metal rod. Now we're heating that back trunk point because we just broke the glass, right? So we're heating it up, working that in, and then we're going to put a stamp on it. at Boulder Bend Glassworks with you today, huh? Did you have fun? Yeah! Hey, let's check out what we made. Yeah, they made this really cool pendant. Whoa! Yeah, remember how they blew it and made it big and it expanded? Whoa! Look at that! Whoa! That is so pretty! <laughs> and then they made this bluish and whitish bowl. Wow, you could put so many goodies in there. Whoa, they do such great work. Wow, and then they made a heart. Yeah, they used yellow and orange. Whoa, yeah, yep. <laughs> that is so cool. And then I got to make a heart. Yeah, do you remember my two colors that I used? Yeah, blue and orange. Whoa, <laughs> here it is. Wow, we did such a good job making this heart. Whoa, <laughs> that was so cool. It is so cool that when these cooled down, yeah, they became really hard. Yeah, and then when they were really hot. Yeah, it was like a liquid. Whoa! Yeah, kind of like honey. <laughs> but not honey. It's glass. <laughs> All right. Well, I should probably get going now. <laughs> but this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. 
good job. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>